Heads up everyone, you're about to witness one of the biggest losers in gaming history and the reason for this person being a giant loser is because they got busted using cheats in Call of Duty Vanguard. Take a look at this nonsense. Hold on, can we just take a look at that one more time? Damn, why does my game always crash and shit? <laughs> yeah, piece of garbage. So this person goes by Pplex or Plexi or Plexify or piece of shit if you will, and he is, or I should say was, the number two ranked player on Call of Duty Vanguard, which isn't really impressive to me considering nobody plays Vanguard. Yes, I'm a hypocrite because I played the game during the free access weeks, alright? Shut up. What are you, my mother? This is just mind-boggling to me that someone considered number two at Vanguard was cheating. Like, I feel like every single week there's always a story going around about how a pro player or even a top ranking player in Call of Duty is caught using some sort of third party application designed to give them an advantage in the game because they are literally garbage and depend on hacks and cheats in order to provide content to viewers and to get pussy. And let me tell you something, people, if you need to hack a video game in order to be good at it, then you are just literal garbage. You are bad at the game. You are terrible. You're dog shit. And stories like this make me think that every single pro player or every single high ranking Call of Duty player is just cheating at the game. That favorite streamer you like that plays Call of Duty, they're probably cheating. Who knows? Here's a good question. Why didn't Ricochet, Call of Duty's anti-cheat system, catch this dumbass sooner? Like, the only reason why this guy got busted in the first place was because his stream glitched and showed that he'd had every enemy player highlighted in red so he could see them through walls and get the jump on them. Bro, Plexi and everyone who uses these types of cheats ruin the game and quite literally make PC COD players like myself feel like the enemy to the franchise. I mean, already, people on console don't even want to play with PC players because they believe that keyboard and mouse is already overpowered compared to a controller. And to be fair, I went from PlayStation to PC about half a year ago, and it's been a great experience for me because I can work a keyboard and mouse better than a controller. And I've been playing on controllers since I was probably 12 or 11. But I think keyboard and mouse being better than a controller is debatable because I know people who play on PlayStation that I still play with from time to time that are 100% better at the game than me, and they only use a controller. But let me tell you something, when stories like this appear online of top-ranking Call of Duty players on on PC getting caught cheating, it really doesn't help the PC community's case. Because of idiots like this, a majority of console players don't want to cross-play with PC players anymore. Because they just assume that we're all hacking the game. So congrats, Plexiglass. You ruined your streaming career and you tainted the PC Call of Duty community's name. So Plexi put out an actual statement regarding the video, so why don't we take a look at it? I'm sorry for disappointing- Jesus Christ, this is gonna be a bible of a paragraph to read. I'm sorry for disappointing the community, but I have to start by saying I'm made a mistake last night on stream. Yes, those were blatant boxes and I did get caught, but as dumb as the excuse sounds, I was honestly started getting the hacks for camos. I started playing challengers, had a team after getting rounded almost every challengers cup, didn't have enough pro points to be playing with players that I thought were my skill. I grinded my ass off when ranked play came out and my sleep schedule and grinded 10 to 15 hours a day to show who I actually was. I know none of y'all are going to believe me, but I want to say I'm sorry to the people who play who- Oh my god, I'm not reading this. This is way too long and you shouldn't even have to write up a paragraph if you got busted for hacking in a video game. Christ almighty, dude, you got the cheats for camos in a video game? You are such a loser. Bro, if any of you hack a video game to get a digital skin for a gun, then you are truly deplorable. I also don't believe that this apology is really sincere. I believe that Plexi only apologized because they got busted. Otherwise, if they had a heart to begin with, they would have never cheated in the first place, dumbass. I also don't believe that they only got the cheats for camos. I actually believe that they got the cheats to cheat in the game. So according to Charlie Intel, this person has since been banned from Call of Duty, and rightfully so. This garbage just gets me so angry because like I said before, PC players get bombarded with hate all the time because it's way too easy to get cheats for Call of Duty on PC and a majority of cheaters come from PC and console players are sick and tired of this crap. It is possible to get cheats on console but it's way easier on PC and normal players like me who don't cheat just get lumped into the PC bombardment. Let me tell you guys something, I enjoy crossplay being in Call of Duty because I have friends on console that I enjoy playing with. I moved to PC because one, I spent about, well at this point $1600 to build my PC and my PlayStation 4 was crapping the tank. There was no way in hell I was going to play new Call of Duty games on that PlayStation going forward. I think crossplay in video games is just great in general because 
I never have to leave the homies. And while I don't believe that Activision is just gonna simply stop crossplay between consoles and PC because of this particular situation, there's a better chance that I will go into a Modern Warfare lobby or a Black Ops Cold War lobby in game chat and have somebody from console screaming at me saying, oh, you beta cuck, you play on PC, you probably got wall hacks on, haha, <laughs> lameo, you're a loser, haha, <laughs> I bet you pee sitting down, haha, <laughs> which at the end of the day, trash talking video games doesn't bother me in the slightest, but there's definitely people out there who are way softer than me who can't handle that kind of nonsense. But hey, comment down below which top ranking Call of Duty player you believe is hacking. <laughs> anyway, if you guys enjoyed me ranting about Call of Duty players hacking, then leave a like, subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon, <coughs> follow me on all of my social links, enjoy my zesty flaming hot discord server. Links are in the description below. Jesus Christ, that smells. Have a great day, everyone. And remember that if you hack in a video game, you are automatically a giant loser. <laughs>